Okay, our story for today is Patch's Lucky Star. Patch was a pretty little turtle who lived by the pond. She was as quiet and careful as a turtle could be. Most turtles her age romped along the shores of the pond all day, but Patch did not. Patch looked like any other young turtle she knew except for one thing. She had a yellow patch on the outside of her shell. Patch was the only turtle on the pond to have such a shell. It is such an odd shell for a turtle to have, Patch thought to herself. It's not odd, Patch's mother would tell her often. It's just different. It makes you special, Patch. Patch did not want to be special. She just wanted a normal shell so everyone would stop looking at her patch. Patch would hide away most of the day among the tall grasses around the pond. Sometimes she would creep and crawl to her favorite spots on the pond, but only when she was sure there was nobody around. Most days, Patch just tucked herself up inside her shell and stayed there. Patch liked staying inside her shell very much. Inside, it was dark and quiet. Inside, Patch could be all alone. Patch didn't have to worry about getting splashed by frogs or being sniffed by the bigger animals that came to drink from her pond. And if any of the other animals were looking at her odd shell, Patch didn't want to see their stares. Most of all, though, she didn't want to have to look at her own shell. She thought the big yellow patch was terrible. In fact, she thought it made her whole shell look terrible. So Patch stayed inside her shell where she did not have to see it or anything else. Patch stayed there and daydreamed the day away. In her thoughts, she would stick her head out proudly and walk in the flower patch. Patch would go from flower to flower like a bee and smell the wonderful smells. From the darkness of her shell, Patch also imagined she had great adventures. She saw herself zipping and diving from shore to shore like a dragonfly. One day, Diamond and Snapper walked by Patch's hiding place. She hoped the two young turtles would not notice her, but they came up and tapped on her shell. Patch, they called, come exploring with us. Patch stayed very still in her shell. Soon they went away. Patch pretended she went exploring with them. She thought about finding a cool, shady place where she could slide down a great big log and splash into the pond. Later that day, Patch heard her mother's voice outside her shell. Poking her head out, Patch was surprised to see Diamond and Snapper's mother there too. Have you seen Diamond or Snapper? Patch's mother asked. They've been gone for hours. They went exploring, Patch told her. Diamond and Snapper's mother shook her head. We'll have to go looking for those two, she said. It's getting dark. You stay here, Patch, her mother said. We don't need another lost turtle. Patch shivered, glad she had stayed inside her shell. She thought it must be scary to be lost on the pond at night. Then she saw that the stars were starting to glitter in the dark sky. If only my shell could shine as brightly as the stars, she thought aloud. I wouldn't mind my patch so much. As Patch sighed, she heard Diamond and Snapper calling for their mother. Their mother called back, relieved to hear their voices again. Their voices were coming closer to Patch's place on the shore. Patch quickly ducked back into her shell. Soon it seemed that all the turtles were just outside, huddled around her. Everyone was talking all at once. We kept going in circles, Snapper said. 
Everything looked the same in the dark, added Diamond. But then we saw Patch's bright yellow patch all the way across the pond. We followed it all the way back, said Snapper. Thank goodness for that patch, their mother said. If you ever get lost again, Diamond and Snapper's mother said, be sure you follow the North Star. She pointed up to the brightest star in the sky. We don't need the North Star, Snapper said. We've got our own star right here on the shore. And it's the brightest star on the pond, that's for sure, said Diamond. Patch, her mother said, they're talking about your special shell. Patch was so happy, her shell couldn't hold her. She popped out and looked back at her patch. In the moonlight, it did shine brightly. Tomorrow, Patch would come out again to see just how much it really did shine. She hoped her star would shine all the time. The End